YouTube! Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I gotta keep things short and sweet because I'm putting out a video to a gentleman that doesn't have a lot of time. Today, I'm gonna put out what we'll call a, uh, a audition. True Game Data, Tony, decided to put out a little questionnaire asking his community if they would mind if other people helped him with his videos. Now, not the smartest individual alive, but you know, that tells me that there may be uh, an opening to assist with his videos. So Tony, let me show you what it would look like if you gave me the opportunity to assist you with your videos. YouTube, hello, welcome back to the channel. Today, Tony, AKA True Game Data, sent me a little, uh, little information on a firearm in the game called the AN-94, letting me know that it is statistically a very solid gun and practically also, also an excellent choice. So today we're gonna cover why the AN-94 is one of the best off-meta weapons that you're currently not using. Let's go to the stats, huh? I have the AN-94 compared to the C-58, which is currently the highest KD weapon in all of Warzone, with 250 health to chest shots. Now you can see the AN-94 actually outperforms the C-58. And you're like, wait a minute, hold on, that can't be right. Oh no, it is right. If you're hitting nothing but chest shots, the AN-94 is better than the C-58. Not only is it better than the C-58 if you're hitting your chest shots, but you have almost half the recoil of a C-58. So it's significantly easier to control and it hits harder. So if the C-58 is the number one ranked weapon in all of Warzone and you have a gun with significantly less recoil and it hits harder, well, why isn't it the meta? Well, we'll cover that real quick. So if we go back to TTKs, we take it off chest shots and we go to combinations. If you start missing your chest shots and you start hitting those extremity shots, the C-58 continues to perform while the AN-94, as you can see on this chart, the AN-94 starts to struggle. But I would argue that with significantly less recoil, it is much more manageable to be able to maintain these type of TTKs at range. If we go to the stats summary, you'll see that these guns are actually very similar. The AN-94 and the C-58 have very similar fire rates with the AN-94 being slightly above, but that's, that's hit and miss because you gotta add in the hyper burst and it gets funky, but I digress. Your ADS times are almost identical. Tactical sprint to fire, sprint to fire, almost identical. Movement speed is going to be quite a bit better on your C-58 because it's a Cold War gun, and the AN-94 is Modern Warfare. We all know they love to they love to keep the Modern Warfare guns held down by movement speed, right? Your bullet velocity is identical. Reload times almost identical, and if you know how to reload cancel, you can reload the AN-94 as fast as almost any gun in the game. The mag size is, is it's more ammo than you need in the AN-94. If you're looking for a top tier viable weapon to try in Warzone, AN-94 might be just what you're looking for if you're tired of running around Caldera with the C-58 and Bren meta. If you're ready to spice things up, branch out there, try something new, have a little fun, the AN-94 will keep you competitive while letting you enjoy the game a little bit. Hey, thanks for your time. I appreciate you swinging by and we'll catch you in the next one. Now, Tony, I kept that short and sweet because I know you're on a time crunch, right? And I want you to know that I can do that on a significantly longer scale, right? And with so much more added in there, I kept it as basic as possible. That way, if there's something you want added or subtracted, it's very, very easy for us to discuss it. I told you for the last year, Tony, that I would like an opportunity to assist you at True Game Data. And I think right now, if you just hashtag give them a chance, this is a great opportunity. 
all I want to do is help you and as an added bonus I would get some exposure from it it's a, it's a win-win for everybody I'm available any time of the day any YouTube video you need done I can have it pumped out in eight hours eight hours or less with almost with minimal instruction all I need from you is the gun the main talk points the length you want the video to be I can handle the rest I could have gameplay overlaid with a YouTube video up with with everything that you'll need in the video in eight hours or less at any time of the day from the time you tell me that it needs done then you're not gonna find another guy that works as hard as I do and if you take a look at my YouTube videos from day one till now which has only been three weeks Tony it's not even the same guy anymore and it's only gonna keep getting exponentially better just just hashtag give them a chance and my community J crew we're 55 strong right now 55 is a lot if if you guys could go to Tony's most recent video and just hashtag give them a chance uh, I'd sincerely appreciate that out of you guys hey much love thanks for swinging by and I'll catch you in the next one